so, uh, here I am in my bedroom once again. I just recorded a video a couple of seconds ago, but because I wasn't so well yesterday, and I had Eid celebration, which is what, it's like a Muslim Christmas if you don't know what Eid is, the day before, so I've missed two videos, I'm going to catch up. And uh, as I talked, uh, do, I, do I need to introduce the video as usual? I'll introduce the video as usual. So what are these videos about? These videos are about you making your life better and uh, making the world a better place. And I think I'll cut the introduction to that much. If you want the longer introduction, watch the other videos. Okay, so um, yeah, so this video is about taking care of yourself. Uh, and the wisdom that I want to say as a quote is uh, that yourself has a right upon you and I want to contemplate on that ancient wisdom all the things I talk about are just ancient ideas not for me but just ideas that have been around that we've forgotten because we thought they weren't so important because we thought money and all that kind of stuff would solve all our problems and that's part of the introduction I gave in my previous videos so Yourself has a right upon you. Why is that such an important idea? And why is it said that way? What's the significance of it? Well, one problem is that we push ourselves so much nowadays because we uh, feel we don't value ourselves so much because we're competing so much, you see. And so it's really important to take care of ourselves. Uh, and if we can't take care of ourselves, then we can't be particularly success, uh, successful. And a lot of very successful people know this idea, this wisdom. This is not me uh, just saying that they know this. This is like uh, something I read on the internet through some survey of very successful people. And that's what I do a lot in my videos. I, I, I uh, don't just say stuff. I make sure or... I, I hear quite often, I read of surveys that that you can check up yourself on the internet somewhere. I'm not very good at referencing things though, uh, that's not the point. I suppose a lot of the ideas that I give, uh, when you listen to them and you hear that, yeah, there's a survey that supports it, but also you, you, you think about things in, within yourself and you go, uh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. You know, I should take care of myself because if I take care of myself, then I can really, uh, you know, be more successful. And if I'm ill and all this kind of stuff, that won't really help. So you should take it easy. You know, work a little bit hard, but not so hard that you make yourself ill because otherwise you won't be uh, be able to use your health to make yourself successful. Now why was it worded in this way, uh, your right, yourself has a right upon you? Because part of what I'm talking about here is the happiness revolution. And the happiness revolution requires you to help other people. Okay, help humanity. But you are part of humanity. So yourself is one of those people in humanity. And you yourself has a right like other people have a right upon you, you have a right upon you. It's a, it's a way of phrasing things for people who are already very selfless and they don't even give themselves time. So that is the reason why it was worded that way. So I hope you do take care of yourself. You can help other people by taking care of yourself. If you're ill, you won't feel so positive and you won't be able to help other people. So make sure you stay healthy. Thank you for watching.